exactly how many Jews of Polish extraction were in Berlin. All of the Nazi atrocities were vastly headlined in the newspapers of the day, and so Thomas Watson was aware that Adolf Hitler was persecuting the Jews, stealing their assets, and getting them ready for the worst forms of physical destruction, even extermination. And Watson had promulgated the belief that people should disregard this, that this was just politics. And his idea was that it was never about the Nazism, the National Socialism. It was only about the money. And what he told people is, ignore the morality, go for the money. It was the almighty dollar. There is an almighty, and his name ain't the dollar. They controlled their Nazi-occupied subsidiaries through Switzerland, and everything ultimately followed down to an office in New York. It was globalization before you knew the word existed. It was globalization before the word appeared in the English language. IBM danced on the head of a pin to stay within the law. They were, in fact, engaged in the legal participation in genocide. Anyone, anyone in the world could call IBM and ask them to open their Polish archives, open their French archives, open their Dutch and Brazilian archives. They won't do it and they won't tell you why.
people discern atrocities, they see the red, uh, the redness of the blood. They see the blackness of the tragedy. What they need to understand is behind that is the green of money and finance. And we need to draw a line, a moral line, 